Okay, so we've got our chapel painted. And now if you would like to add a word, you can use your rubber stamps. This is an optional part of the, the tutorial. But if you would like to add a word, you can do that. Um, I chose the word gather. So I have all of my stamps here. And I have my ink pad. You're going to need to choose an area on your canvas where you're going to have well you're going to have room to put the word but you're also going to need a background that the color is a definite contrast from whatever color your ink is so let's say if I were to choose this area here it's a darker brown and my ink is black it's not going to show up very well here so sometimes you might need to choose an area and just go back in and lighten it up so that you know you're going to be able to see the words that the letters in your word that you add. So I'm going to go in and put some white here. I'm going to add a little bit over here too to balance it out. Okay. And then we'll add our word on top of that light spot there. And I think I'm going to go down this way instead of trying to go across this way. So we need to let that dry a little bit. And I normally pick up my canvas and put my hand behind it so that I can feel where I'm placing my stamp. Okay. And I don't usually do this very precisely either. It just happens the way it happens. So, got G. A. See this black area here where the stamp got on there? We can go back over that with some paint later if we want to. Or you can leave it there just for character. H and if you totally mess it up okay just take some paint go back over it you can fix it right up I think I'm gonna go in and fix some of these little spots here where the ink was and you can just take your brush and cover it up the best you can choose whatever word you want to put on yours. I would just love to see it though. Um, once you finish your creations, you can share them with me on Facebook. You can share them with me on Instagram. You can email me at artbyamandahilburn at gmail.com.